Amazon managed Grafana's solution to monitor Amazon EKS infrastructure. Many of the customers that use EKS or Elastic Kubernetes Service infrastructure are using Amazon managed Grafana and Amazon managed service for Prometheus for their observability needs. The solution we are providing from AWS has a pre built cloud formation solution to achieve this. This particular solution configures Amazon managed service for Prometheus as a backend to collect and store metrics from your EKS cluster. Amazon managed Grafana is used as a front end with varying dashboards to view the details from your EKS cluster. Let's see this in action. Before deploying the solution, you need to have some prerequisites met. The first one is you need to have a running EKS cluster. The second prerequisite is going to have a Amazon managed service for Prometheus workspace. And the third one is going to be having Amazon managed Grafana workspace. So once your prerequisites are done, you can go ahead and then take these files from this particular GitHub location. Go to github.com slash AWS Observability and all these files are available for you. I downloaded all these files and then uploaded to an S3 bucket. So let's go ahead and then take the object URL of CloudFormation that we wanted to use it. Let's go to the CloudFormation tab and copy the Amazon S3 URL that we got it and click on next. So this is going to give you the various stack parameters. And once you have done that, review all the information and click on submit. Now the cloud formation is completed. It will take around 10 minutes. Let's get into our workspace. So once I log in there under dashboards tab, you should be able to see the various dashboards available for you. So now if you can go to your cluster details, you should be able to see the CPU utilization, memory, and all this important information of your cluster from one particular place. If you are aware of CloudWatch Container Insights, you can think of this as an open source equivalent of a solution. So this provides both infrastructure layer as well as your workload dashboards for your purpose. So now if I come to the namespace dashboard, you can get to choose your different namespaces and then you can choose the type of deployment, whether it is deployment or daemon set. And from here, you should be able to see it. Also, if you are interested in control plane metrics, you are having various dashboards, which talks about the control plane details, including QBAP server, which talks about the ETC, request latency, because terminations, pod memory, etc. And last but not least, if you are interested in the node level details, you should be able to see from here how many, how much of CPU memory is being used. So likewise, if you are having like you know, different dashboards that you can play around to monitor your use cases. So as a resource and next steps, so this particular solution, um, this QR code is having the documentation around it. So if you are clicking on this one, you will be taken to this particular documentation page, which talks about the step-by-step -step instructions that you need to do it. So with that one, thank you so much for your time.